Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z presents Let's Learn. In this series, we will try to make our field related educational and knowledgeable videos. So do subscribe us and click on bell icon to never miss our videos. Today we are going to learn about different maintenance checks carried out on our aircraft and how often they are performed. So let's learn. Aircraft maintenance checks are periodic inspection that have to be done on all commercial or civil aircraft after a certain amount of time. Here I mention civil aircraft because military aircraft normally follow specific maintenance program which may or may not be similar to civil aviation. Soon we are going to make a video on civil aviation versus military aviation so stay tuned. Airlines and other commercial operators of large or turbine power aircraft follow a continuous inspection program approved by national authority of that operator like FA in US, TCCA in Canada, YASA in Europe and DGCA in India. I have already made a video on it so do check it out. Under the national authority oversight each operator prepares a CAM continuous airworthiness maintenance program and it comes under operation specification or in short op specs. The camp includes both routine and detailed inspection. Airlines and authority casually refer detailed inspection as checks and they have segregated it into four checks. A and B are lighter checks while C and D are considered heavier checks and this checks comes under plant maintenance. So let us learn in detail about each check starting with a check. A check. This is performed approximately every 400 to 600 flight hours or 200 to 300 cycles. One cycle means takeoff and landing, while flight hour means its operational hours, and it varies widely for aeroplanes and helicopters. Talking about manpower, it usually needs 20 to 60 man hours. Good thing is that it can be performed overnight at an airport, get or any appropriate place. The actual occurrence of this varies by aircraft type, cycle count, number of hours flown since last check. The occurrence can be delayed by airlines or MROs if certain predetermined conditions are met. Here's a list of what we do in AJ. General visual inspection of aircraft structure for evidence of damage, deformation, corrosion and missing parts. We also check crew's oxygen system pressure, operationally check of emergency lights, lubricate nose gear retraction actuator, check parking brake accumulator pressure and perform bite of flap slat electronic unit and some other basic checks mentioned in CAM. Usually, a and B checks are performed by airlines and commercial operators in their own hangar. Let us see B checks. This check are performed every 6 to 8 months and needs about 120 to 150 man hours depending on aircraft and it usually completed within 2 to 3 days at an airport hangar. Sometimes operator merge A and B checks. To ease the task they again subdivide this check as A1 to A10 or B1 to B4 like that. It is very similar to A check but it is more detailed check of component and system and includes all A check item. Now let us move on towards heavy maintenance checks. C check. It is performed every 20 to 24 months or a specific amount of actual flight hour as defined by manufacturer. As it is more extensive than B it requires majority of aircraft component to be inspected. This check puts aircraft out of service and until it is completed, aircraft must not leave the maintenance site. It requires more main power, large space and that's why it is carried out in a hangar of base station of airline or operator. As it is very extensive, it generally requires 1 to 2 weeks and effort of 6000 man hour. But Time required varies widely due to involvement of many factors. It can take more if there is shortage of component, manpower and facility. Usually operator contracts heavy maintenance checks 
to big MROs or airlines having such facilities. Let us see some of these facilities in the world, starting with India. In India, Air India has approval for all four checks, while Jet Airways used to do A and B checks and contract its Airbus 330 for C check to Air India. Now talking about MRO, GMR do C checks for many airlines around the globe. Talking about foreign airlines, British Airways has its own engineering unit, British Airways Engineering, while Lufthansa has Lufthansa Technic to perform maintenance on its aircraft. Singapore Airlines has CR Engineering Company to perform maintenance. There are various other foreign airlines perform their own C and D check in their own facilities. To know items coming under all checks in detail, follow us on Instagram at aviation a to z where I will post all tasks. Moving on to our major check, this check improves service life of aircraft to years as it is complete disassembly of an aircraft and it's like a rebirth of an aircraft. D-check This is by far the most comprehensive and demanding check for an airplane. It is also known as Heavy Maintenance Visit HMV. This check occurs approximately every 6 years. It is very intense that complete stripping of an aircraft takes place. Even the paints need to be removed for further inspection of fuselage metal skin. Such checks can generally take up to 50,000 man hours and more than 2 months to complete depending on aircraft and number of technicians involved. It also requires more space of all maintenance checks and mandatory to perform at base. You have seen the requirement and tremendous effort involved in this check make it far most expensive and cost millions of dollars to airlines. You will be shocked after hearing this. Because of nature and cost of such checks, most airlines, especially those with large fleet, have to plan D-check for the aircraft years in advance. Often, all the aircraft being phased out of fleet are stored or scrapped upon reaching their next D-check due to high cost involved in comparison to aircraft value order. This explains us why Boeing 747s and 380s over the globe are retiring sooner than is scheduled. Over the globe, there are limited airlines and MROs who can able to successfully perform D-check. Due to time requirement of this check, many airlines use the opportunity to make major cabin modification on aircraft. Like Emirates upgraded its first class on 777, Qantas modernized its business class configuration on 380. Such kind of news you hear means they either done D-check or ordered new aircraft. All such data are proposed in MRB report based on ATA publication on MSG3 means third task force. So I hope you got clear idea on various types of checks carried out throughout the life of an aircraft. If you are still watching, here is your bonus. I talked about D-check that is expensive. Now let us see its actual cost by comparing various aircrafts of Boeing family. Boeing 737 requires 1 million dollar which is equivalent to 7 crore 50 lakh rupees. Talking about wide bodies, Boeing 777-200ER requires 4 million dollars which is equivalent to 30 crore 12 lakh rupees. While Boeing 777-300ER requires 4.5 million dollars equivalent to 34 crore. And finally talking about screen of skies, Boeing 747-400 requires 6 million dollars which is equivalent to 45 crore and 18 lakh rupees. Recently, Air India has done D-checks on its 747 fleet. This is how you can think of opportunities in maintenance field around the globe. Every aircraft need to go through daily checks, A, B, C and Mammoth D-check. Apart from this, there is unplanned maintenance such as bird strike, lightning strike, hull damage, ground handling damage, etc. As per one article, it requires 50% of more main power to keep all fleet airworthy in event of unplanned maintenance. That's all for today. 
I hope you got lots of theoretical and practical knowledge on how maintenance checks is carried out and how much it costs to organization. If you found it informative then do like this video and don't forget to subscribe us and click on bell icon to never miss our videos. We will be back with another interesting topic till then keep learning and keep watching stay safe.